हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एड मैथ एड मैथ फॉर आईजीसीएसई स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 0606 एंड फॉर सीआईईओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच हैव सिलेबस कोड 4037 students in last lecture we did first three questions of exercise 16.1 from chapter number 16 name kinematics and the topic of this exercise is applications of derivatives in kinematics so kinematics means when you find the distance displacement acceleration velocity speed etc so today we are going to do some more questions of this exercise but before i start remaining questions kindly i would request all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math watch previous lectures of this chapter then you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 4 exercise 16.1 a particle moves in a straight line such that its displacement s meters from a fixed point o on the line at time t second is given by s equals to 9 ln 3 t plus 2 so this is the equation of distance find the value of t when the displacement of the particle from o is 36 meter meter so it is very easy just replace s by 36 9 ln 3 t plus 2 9 for the 36 4 is equals to ln 3t plus 2 so in order to eliminate ln we should have to take e on both side e on both side so e4 is equals to ln and e cancel E four minus two upon three is the value of t. This is the answer of part A. When the distance is thirty six meter, then the time is e power four minus two upon three seconds. Come to part B. Find the velocity of the particle when t is equal to one. so we have distance s is equals to 9 ln 3t plus 2 so how to find velocity when we have displacement we just differentiate displacement by time so s is equals to first apply the rule of logarithm 9 should be the power of log of 3t plus 2 because this is the property of logarithm 3t plus 2 to the power 9 now differentiate s with respect to t here s s plays the role of y and t plays the role is x that is the derivative of t is 1 so power right first ln 3t plus 2 decrease 1 from the power 8 into derivative of its function that is the derivative of ln t uh, 3t plus 2 so ln derivative is 1 upon 3t plus 2 multiply by the derivative of 3t plus 2 that is 3 this is the complete derivative so ds by dt is v 9 3 is 27 ln 3t 
प्लस टू टू द पावर एट अपॉन थ्री टी प्लस टू दिस इज द कंप्लीट डेरिवेटिव एंड द क्वेश्चन इज फाइन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल वेन टी इज इक्व टू वन सो पुट टी इज इक्व टू वन इन दिस आंसर ट्वेंटी सेवन एल एन थ्री टी प्लस वन इज There is some mistake. Kindly wait. पावर राइट फर्स्ट सॉरी दिस इज द मिस्टेक आई हैव फाउंड दिस इज नॉट द डेरिवेटिव एल एन ऑफ समथिंग इज ऑलवेज द डेरिवेटिव इज वन अपॉन थ्री टी प्लस टू टू द पावर नाइन दिस इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एल एन मल्टीप्लाई बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ थ्री टी प्लस टू टू द पावर नाइन दैट इज नाइन थ्री टी प्लस टू टू द पावर नाइन माइनस वन एट मल्टीप्लाई बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ थ्री टी प्लस टू दैट इज थ्री सॉरी फॉर दिस दिस इज द कंप्लीट डेरिवेटिव डी एस बाई डी टी इज वी थ्री नाइन जेड ट्वेंटी सेवन लुक दिस दिस इज थ्री टी पावर थ्री टी प्लस टू पावर एट दिस इज पावर नाइन सो कैंसिल इट 27 upon 3t plus 2 is the answer of velocity. Now we need to find this answer by putting when t is equals to 1. 27 upon 3 into 1 plus 2. 3 ones are 3 plus 2 is 5. 27 upon 5 is 5.4 meters per second. This is hundred percent correct answer. So hope you understand completely. Now see last part. Show that the particle is decelerating for all values of t. Very easy. Deceleration or acceleration is possible when we differentiate. the value of velocity with respect to time so our velocity we have find in part b 27 upon 3t plus 2 so dv by dt is first shift 3t plus 2 to make numerator then find the derivative 27 into minus 1 is minus 27. 3t plus 2 to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Multiply by the derivative of 3t plus 2. That is 3. 27 into minus 3 is minus 81 upon. 3t plus 2 to the power 2. This is the acceleration. And if you put any value of t, your final answer is negative. This is the requirement. What was the question? Show that the uh, the acceleration is negative for any value of t because because of this minus sign, this negative sign, the overall answer always always negative. So shown. This is. proof or shown now move to question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अ पार्टिकल मूव्स इन अ स्टेट लाइन सच दैट सो दैट टी सेकेंड्स आफ्टर पासिंग थ्रू अ फिक्स पॉइंट ओ इट्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट एस मीटर्स फ्रॉम ओ इज गिवन बाय एस इज इक्वल्स टू एल एन वन प्लस टू टी पार्ट ए फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टी व्हेन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल is 0.4 meters per second so so first we have to find the velocity if we differentiate this distance with respect to time we will get velocity so ln derivative is 1 upon 1 plus 2t multiplied by derivative of 1 plus 2t that is 2 So v is equals to two upon one plus two t. Now we have to find the value of t when the value of v is zero point four. So two upon one plus two t. So one plus two t is equals to two upon zero point four. So one plus two t two upon zero point four is five. So two t is equals to five minus one four, and t is equals to two to the four. So t is equals to two second when the value of v is zero point four. So very easy question. Part B. Find the distance travelled by the particle during the third second. During the third second. so please keep in mind third second means the displacement between the third second and the and the and the second second means we have to find s3 minus s4 s2 so at t at t is equals to 3 s is equals to ln 1 plus 2 into 3 So s three is equals to two three is a six plus one is seven. Then four at t is equals to two. So s two is equals to ln one plus two into one. Uh, sorry, two into two. So ln two to the four, four plus one five. Hence, our final answer is distance during third second is. S three answer is ln seven minus S two answer is ln five, and the property of the logarithm is log converts subtraction into division. So ln seven upon five is our final answer. Ln seven upon five meter, the SI unit of uh, distance is meter. So very easy question. Come to part C. Find the acceleration of the particle when t is equals to one point five. Very easy. So for part C, we have already find the velocity that is two upon one plus two t. So v is equals to two. You can write one plus two t to the power minus one. It becomes the numerator. Differentiate v with respect to time. You will get, have acceleration two one the minus two one plus two t to the power minus two. Uh, then a is equals to minus two upon one plus two t to the power two. So a is equals to minus two upon one plus two t. T is what one. But I will check again. Sorry, t is one point five. 
वन थिंग विच आई फॉर गॉट दैट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वन प्लस टू डी एज वेल दिट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फंक्शन सो वन प्लस टू डी डेरिवेटिव इज टू सो अवर आंसर इज माइनस फोर ओके सो वन प्लस टू इंटू टी टी इज वन पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर एंड इफ यू यूज योर साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर यू विल फाइंड द फाइनल आंसर इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव एम एस माइनस टू सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बट यू मस्ट हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेरिवेटिव दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू काइंडली do chapter 12 first and i have uploaded each and every exercise each and every question of chapter number 12 come to question number 16 question number 16 a particle travels in a straight line so that t seconds after passing through a fixed point o its velocity v meters per second is given by v is equals to 8 cos t by 4 part a find the value of t when the velocity of the particle first equals 4 meters per second so replace v by 4 is equals to 8 cos t by 4 So four upon eight is one upon two, is equals to cos t by four, and cos inverse one upon two is equals to t by four. Kindly convert your calculator in radian mode. It will give you pi by three. So t is equals to four into pi four pi by three seconds. This is the answer of part A. So there are so many angles which uh, so many angles which uh, will give you uh, pi by three. Uh, there are so many angles which give you one upon two. But if you focus on the word, find the value of t when the velocity of the particle first equals two. So first equals two means. they are talking about first quadrant okay so you must have the concept of trigonometry find the acceleration of the particle when t is equals to 5 so v is equals to 8 cos t upon 4 differentiate v with respect to time 8 cos derivative is minus sin T upon four into derivative of T upon four that is one upon four four to the eight. dv by dt is acceleration, so minus two sine t by four a is equals to minus two sine t is five five by four. So if you convert your scientific calculator. in radian mode and find minus 2 sin 5 by 4 you will get minus 1.9 and the unit 1.90 and the unit is ms minus 2 so this is question number 6 and that is what we did in our today's class question number 4 5 and 6 how many questions are left 7 8 9 10 11 11 so i will try to finish these uh, five questions in a single or maximum two lectures so student this is our today's class kindly do practice more and more and more and do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture